Welcome, everyone. Today, we will be discussing the fascinating process of meiosis, a critical mechanism in sexual reproduction. So, what exactly is meiosis? Meiosis is a specialized type of cell division that involves a single cell undergoing two rounds of division. This process produces four daughter cells, each containing half the genetic material of the original cell. These daughter cells are known as gametes, which include sperm and egg cells. But why is meiosis so important? Meiosis ensures that organisms produced through sexual reproduction have the correct number of chromosomes. Each parent contributes half of the chromosomes, maintaining the species chromosome number across generations. Now, let's take a closer look at the various stages of meiosis. The process can be broken down into two main phases, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. In prophase 1, the chromosomes begin to condense, and the nucleolus disassembles. As the chromosomes shift positions, a process called crossing over occurs, allowing for the exchange of genetic material between homologous chromosomes. This is a key mechanism that contributes to genetic diversity. Moving on to metaphase 1, the chromosomes arrange themselves in pairs at the center of the cell. During this stage, random assortment takes place, meaning that the chromosome pairs line up in no particular order. This randomness is crucial for genetic variation. In anaphase 1, the chromosome pairs separate and migrate to opposite ends of the cell. This separation ensures that each resulting cell contains half the original number of chromosomes, resulting in haploid daughter cells. During telophase 1, two new nuclei develop around each set of chromosomes. Following this, the cytoplasm divides, resulting in the formation of two haploid daughter cells. This marks the end of meiosis 1. Next is prophase 2, where we prepare for the second round of division to produce four haploid sex cells. Here, the chromosomes condense again, and the nucleolus disintegrates in both cells. In metaphase 2, the chromosomes line up in a single file along the center of the cell. This arrangement ensures that sister chromatids will separate properly in the next stage. During anaphase 2, the sister chromatids are pulled apart and migrate to opposite ends of the cell. This ensures that the daughter cells are haploid, containing half the genetic material of the original parent cell. In telophase 2, four new nuclei develop around each set of chromosomes. The cytoplasms divide once again, resulting in the formation of four haploid daughter cells. This completes the process of meiosis. To summarize, meiosis consists of two main phases, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Each phase includes four stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, which we have just covered. Together, these stages ensure the accurate division of genetic material. Thank you for your attention. Here are the references for the information presented today. I hope this presentation has provided you with a clearer understanding of the crucial process of meiosis.